guys, I'm Carla of Fashion Maven Mommy and today's uh, YouTube video is actually very near and dear to my heart because if you've been following me for a little while, you know I was a finalist in Allure Magazine's Beauty Blogger of the Year Awards and it was such an amazing experience because I met some really great, great girls. Um, one of them in particular was Kara, the winner, um, who has an amazing blog uh, called Mascara. Um, I'm sure you know her, I've seen her and absolutely love her just like I do. Um, I still remember the very first week of the competition um, watching Kara's video on essentially transforming herself um, through highlighting and contouring and I thought oh my god this girl's a star and so when I learned that she had released her own uh, line of highlighting and contouring with her 3D foundation, mascara foundation, um, it is, I was just so excited for her and so happy for her. Um, so today I actually am going to show you how I created her highlighting and contouring using her own um, palette. So the palette that I have is looks like this. I really love the fact that these palettes are um, interchangeable so you can actually these pants um, come off and you can um, you know if something runs out you can replenish if you wanted to change up your colors you can do that too. And really it's like a one-stop shop uh, palette because it has a highlighter, it has a, a bronzer, the most gorgeous rose um, blush that I absolutely love, I'm wearing it on my lips as well, as well as foundation. Um, you know, I'd never tried cream foundation before, uh, and, or I shouldn't say foundation, I'd never tried um, cream contouring before and I was a little weary because I'm used to the powders and I was absolutely blown away by the way that this goes onto the skin. It's very velvety. It has such a smooth finish. It's absolutely beautiful, very user friendly. Um, contouring and highlighting can be really, really intimidating for a person like myself, even though I love to um, you know, play with makeup. Obviously I'm a beauty junkie. But, um, but it's still an intimidating process for me. So if I can do it, I know that you can too. Uh, this is the brush that I am using for uh, this video. Um, this is the palette that I'm using as well. Um, I also am using an It Cosmetics brush that I love, which, which is actually quite similar to, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually quite, quite similar to Kara's. And um, I like to have the extra brush handy so that I don't interchange colors, but you can certainly use one to do it all. I know Kara does and she's so good at it. I did create a blog post, so definitely go check it out because it's got a lot more information on there, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I did this video so that I could show you um, how I created um, that look. And I hope to do her proud, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and here we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to start by using the color Stone, which is the contouring color. Using mascara's fluffy brush, you'll want to apply underneath your cheekbones, around the edges of the face, as well as the side of the nose. Using a lighter color foundation, I'm actually using the color Sunlit. You'll want to apply underneath the eyes where you would normally apply concealer. Then apply above your lip, on your chin, down the line of your nose, and work your way upwards towards your forehead using the smaller end of the brush. Now I'm using the fluffy side of my If Cosmetics brush in order to just sort of uh, blend everything out. Okay, on to the blush. I'm going to be using Pink Grapefruit, which is the most stunning pink ever. I absolutely adore this color. Now, the color is quite pigmented, so what I do like to do is sort of build it up. So I like to apply it onto the brush and then dab it onto the top of my hand just to make sure that I build the product up versus applying a whole ton all at once. Then I use the blush to also apply onto my lips. The color is just too pretty to only use on my cheeks. 
And for a little extra something special, I like to add a little bit of the highlighter right onto the center of my lips. I love the way that it gives it a nice little sheen and just makes it a little bit more special. The next step is probably one of my favorites, applying your highlighter. The highlighter that I have here is in the color Pearl and it's absolutely beautiful. It gives your skin the perfect sheen. You'll want to apply it in the higher parts of your cheekbones, um, above your cupid's bow, or on your cupid's bow I should say, to highlight the lips. Um, you might add a little bit on the corners, inner corners of your eyes, or perhaps a little dab on your forehead, or just anywhere that you want to have a little extra glow. Lastly, you'll want to use the fluffy side of the brush to make sure that the product is completely blended into the skin. You don't want any harsh lines or um, anything sort of showing up, so just make sure that you go over uh, the entire thing with a fluffy brush and ensure that everything is completely blended. All right, guys, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Kara, for sending these amazing products over. Definitely go check her out at mascara.com or mascaracosmetics.com where you can purchase and customize your very own palette. Um, I highly recommend it. These products are amazing. I know I will be replenishing 100%. Um, check out my blog post as well. There's a lot more info on there. Until next time, guys, bye.